Hello everyone. I am Keo. Today we are going to learn Mudbox software. What exactly Mudbox is? Mudbox is digital painting and sculpting software. Means what you can do is you can sculpt the models in Mudbox. You can paint it and you can extract the maps from Mudbox. Secondly, what you can do is you can bring those sculpted mesh and the painted textures to 3D application and you can work accordingly. For example, if I have any model in Mudbox or else if I have a model in Maya or 3ds Max, what I can do is if I want to do some detailings in it, so what I can do, I can bring those models into any sculpting software like Mudbox or ZBrush I can say and I can detail it, I can sculpt it, I can paint it, I can do each and everything. Secondly, what I can do is, for example, if I want a model to be detailed, it's like this way. I want some detailed mesh in this way. Can you see this detailed mesh or I can say some sculpted part. This everything can be easily done in Mudbox. As Mudbox is an Autodesk software, right? Now, these are all the things which we can depend on Mudbox. It's like these are also some painted stuff like I extract the passes, I extract, it's like I extract some normal maps, I extract some displacement maps, I can extract some bump maps and I can work accordingly. This is, these are the things which we will be covering up in lecture number one. You can see some more examples related to this, you can see some examples which we can see the detailed stuff like this, the curls and all this stuff which accordingly goes with the anatomy of the structure. These are all the stuff. This is some somewhat I can say the map extraction stuff. I can extract the maps from my uh, this mudbox software I can bring those extract those maps from mudbox software I can bring those maps into this any 3d application and I can apply it accordingly but make sure uh, if you have opened the UVs of this software in any 3d application you can work it very easily so now what we can do is let's start off with uh, mudbox software what you can do is go to start programs Autodesk, Autodesk Mudbox 2011. As you open Mudbox, you will get a welcome screen over here. You will get some basic meshes over here like basic head, you get bull, you get car, you get cube, you get human body plane, reptile, you get spear, you get t-rex and tree stem. These are all some basic meshes which you can use it accordingly in the software. For example, if I want to open a file, I can just click on open, I can open it. Just we'll come to that after some time. Now, what I'll do is, I'll just open a basic head. I'll just open a basic head. Just click on basic head. As I open the basic head, my head mesh is uploaded or I can say it is open in this Mudbox software. Now, what I can do? This is my overall user interface of my Mudbox application. What I can do is you can just go come to Windows hotkeys. As I come to the hotkeys, I can set my hotkeys to Maya or 3ds Max or soft image or default as uh, Mudbox hotkeys. I keep it as Mudbox hotkeys. 
what I can do is alt click plus left mouse left mouse button alt click and left mouse to rotate the viewport middle mouse scrolling will zoom in zoom out the viewport or else alt and right mouse click press will zoom in and zoom out the viewport these are some menus which are included in this this is my 3d view this is somewhat my uv view this is my image browser where I'll be importing some images for viewing this is my 3d view this is my layer panel the layer panel which will be included as sculpt tools paint tools posing select and move tools this is my object list as I come into the object list right now I am into the perspective view for example if I want to move to the top view just click over here right click look through as I move on to this look through I'll get my top view click on the side view right click look through I come to the side view right click look through the side view just come to the front view right click and look through what you can do is you can come to the front view just come to perspective right click look through again I can come to my original view that is my perspective view I can view my viewport accordingly can zoom in zoom out when I come to the display I can use it my smooth shaded or else I will get my mesh as in a rough form just again come to display I make it as smooth shaded go to display if I make it into wireframe wireframe is on the shortcut key for wireframe is W so if I press W it's a toggle button I can on and off the wireframe mode just come into this you can take a grid grid is just like a base I can say the base which you see in Mac or Maya or any application 3D application you can use the grid you can on and off the grid accordingly as you want to work what you can do for example if I move to this select and move tools I can translate the object in x y and z accordingly I can rotate my mesh in any direction in x y or z in any direction I can scale my mesh in x y z in any way I, if, I, if I want to scale accordingly uniformly I can just scale it from the center as you do it in 3d application like max and maya the file extension what if I want to save the file I can just go to file save scene I can save my scene star dot mud you can just save the scene you can just I'll just give miles new scene scene 1 and the file extension for mudbox is .mud I can save my scene and I can work according now the further on things will be looking out in second lecture thank you